All right, should we write some music? Yeah, we she should. says it so like it's yeah. so simple. Yeah. Hey, write a hit song. <laughs> <laughs> wonder how your favorite celebrities live? You say zebra, <laughs> I say zebra, let's cool the whole thing off. Now we are getting the keys and unlocking these jaw-dropping secrets inside the most incredible celebrity homes in America. I'm Andrea Belke. Come join me. This is Celebrity Homes Unlocked. No journey to unlock the lives and homes of some of my favorite celebs would be complete without a stop in Hollywood, the land of the stars. Known for its towering palm trees, iconic beaches, and vibrant city culture, celebrities from all over the world call Los Angeles home, including my good friend, Matt Eisman. We are in Los Angeles, California, and I'm meeting up with Matt Eisman. He's a comedian and a television host. You might know him from hosting American Ninja Warrior. He's also just a blast. So let's go see what he's up to. Matt. Hey, oh, Glad you're in LA. Yes. Uh, how are you? What's new? I'm tired. We just, we just finished shooting American Ninja Warrior at Universal Studios. We went all night for five nights, so I am trying to get back into the land of the lip. You're high energy, though. I'm high energy, but this is fake. I need something right now. I've got a secret that I do in the morning to try to get back into it. I do super healthy green smoothies. Okay. You didn't look excited when I, know, I said I'm that. I'm no, 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 she I'm, wasn't excited. Okay, I'm more of a coffee girl, but we I'm, can do that later. I just I, I need to get something healthy because my tendency is to do junk food, yes. and the only way I find I get back to normal sleep cycles is by doing something else. Well, let's do it. It's very LA, come on. Yeah, it is very LA. I love kicking off this day with Matt in the heart of his home, the kitchen. Right away, I can see Matt's cool style. And who knows, maybe I'll walk away a green smoothie connoisseur. I was actually, I was vegan for six months. You were. Raw vegan, drinking a pound of kale a day. So the rheumatoid arthritis, I was trying it. And it didn't help enough, and I was like, oh God, I'm going back to steaks. <laughs> I haven't had a smoothie in a while, just because, okay, for me, it's the, I don't have a lot You of don't like the taste? Oh, no. Yeah, no, honestly, if, if you put kale and then you put enough fruit in, it tastes good, but you do feel great. Mm -hmm. And it's a way to make sure I start my day off a little bit healthy. Look at this, you just, this is goodness. Uh -huh. See, this, this is where all the nutrients come from is in the kale and spinach. Yeah, okay, I wanna help out. Do you like blueberries? I love blueberries. Okay. I think pretty much right now, Gordon Ramsay's going, that's great, I, I love what they're doing there. <laughs> Here we go, smoothies. Now you can see this workhorse is fighting to get through the kale and goodness. And you can see this delicious, I can see the look on your face. <laughs> no, I, I love smoothies, this is good. It is. Well, we have a lot of blueberries, and so again, because it's an inexact science, sometimes some of them are better than others. You sneak in here and get us a couple of fresh glasses. Oh, look at that. It's pouring great. Come on, does that not look delicious? And by the way, you better finish it all, or it is a great offense to the chef. I believe here? the expression is to health. Yeah, it's a health. <laughs> it's yeah. gotta be when you're drinking this. It tastes healthy. No, I do like it. I really like it. <laughs> you are such a good actress. Your face was, oh God, it's, I really enjoy it. No, I do like it. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Why does it seem like I don't like it? It's your face. Every time you drink, you just, No, you, I... look, you look like you're in Wisconsin and you stepped in a cow well, patty. Well, how am I supposed to be like smiling? And you're making my wide. skin glow. Yes. You do it. Mmm. Oh, I, it's like I'm drinking sunshine. It's so good. <laughs> you have like look? kale mustache. Hmm? <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, so let's do a home tour, but I say let's chug these. You want to chug? Yeah. You like it that much? Well, I want to get, get it done. done. All right, right? Bam! Ah! Uh. You got a Moment. All right, let's check out your All right, place. Now that we're filled with healthy goodness. Yeah. 
Now that I'm full of greens, I feel even more LA than when I arrived. Beyond hosting, I've heard Matt is a man of many talents, and I'm excited to learn more throughout the rest of the home. This is the living room, which I guess is the viewing room because I've got an 80-inch TV. It's a big TV. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade. It needs to be bigger. <laughs> so I, I love this room. And then I've got the map where I've put locations where I've performed. Oh. Which, and it's, it's cool because I was like, everything on the walls, I, I don't want to just put stuff up. I want it to have something, some story that it tells. So you have pins where you performed your stand-up comedy? Most of, yeah, I've missed some of the places here. Yeah, but you know, Iraq and Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan, down in Australia. I got to do a tour of Australia, uh, which was just incredible. And I, I want to get back there again. My goal is to perform at the Sydney Opera House. Okay. When I was down there, I said, that is one of my goals. Yeah. Really. Well, pra so. you practice on us right now. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the worst thing to tell. Hey, uh, you like Hollywood? So I used to be a doctor. Uh, Which I do want to ask you about. Well, let's yeah. keep doing the tour. Uh, okay. Matt used to be a doctor, a stand-up comedian, and now hosts one of the most popular primetime series in the world. When does he rest? So here is my sleep chamber, which is why it's freezing cold, because I'm a bear. I like to hibernate back here. It's also usually dark. That's cool. That is cool. This literally, when I walked in, this room was when I knew I wanted to be in this house. Um, yeah, it's nice. Oh, and what's this? Oh, just just oh. Miami. Just, just my heavy that I just keep right here, you know, just. Uh, Always inside. Oh yeah, it's just right there. It's just uh, I just throw it right there. Just put some papers. Wait, can I hold it? it? Yeah, you can hold it. It's wow. it is a daytime Emmy for Clean House Comes Clean, but it's nice. I got a trophy. How many you've been nominated before? We've been nominated, so we were nominated twice for that, four times for American Ninja Warrior, and we've got one win. It's it's an honor to be nominated, which is what people who don't win say. Yeah. But it's so much nicer winning because you get a trophy. What is, uh, what's this thing? So this, I, I, again, I'm very nostalgic. I put all my ticket stubs Whoa. in here. And if you see over there on the wall, I've got a collection of wow. concert and movie stubs. This is so cool that you've kept all of this. I, I know. Very my mom used to say, why are you holding on to all of this? But it turned out I loved it all. Moving into the studio office, I can see Matt's playful and creative style continuing throughout the home. With so many gadgets and memorabilia, it's clear that Matt's past fuels and inspires his current work. This is the office, which may also be known as the Mizo, and there's a whole lot of me in here. <laughs> but what I, what I love about this is, to me, these are, these are all kind of the keepsakes and, and memories from, from the things I've gotten to do. And, Again, what I what I love is when I'm in here, when I look around, it's a reminder of things to be kind of grateful for, these crazy experiences. So Clean House, that's the whole makeover show I got to do, and Sports Soup was the one that led to Ninja Warrior, and this is my CD, and there's a photo of me with Arnold. Oh. Arm in arm, I'm making him laugh, and it's crazy. Well, you love Arnold. He, like, literally my childhood bedroom, which is unchanged since I graduated from high school, the Predator posters been opposite my bed since 1986. And so I literally, and there's a letter over here that he wrote me where he said, you always say that you grew up with a poster of me on your wall and you're lucky to know me. Well, I'm the one who's lucky to have you as a friend. And I'm reading this, that's why it's framed. I got a tear and I sent it to my brother like, can you believe this? Arnold called me his friend. And things like the, the ridiculous stuff we get to do in our career that I never want to take for granted. So that's why there's a lot of me in here. There, I mean, you've gotten to do such cool things yes. in your life. Wait, where's your uh, degree? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, some, I mean, I know this about you, but not yes. everyone does. You are a doctor. Yeah, I, my medical degree is up there collecting dust. Uh, yeah, I went to medical school, I got my MD, I was doing my residency, and I, Medicine was the perfect career on paper. I love people. I love the science of it. I loved helping people. But when I got into it, I realized it, it didn't fit. Mm -hmm. And it's not a job, it's a calling. And I just felt like I can't do this because I didn't feel I was doing a good job for my patients or for myself. And that's when I decided I had to try something else. And so the hardest conversation I had was with my dad, because my dad's a doctor. I, and I knew how proud he was to have me following in his footsteps. And I was at the University of Colorado doing my training where he was a professor. So we were working together. 
And I had to tell him, like, I, I don't think this is for me. I want to go try stand-up comedy in L.A. And it took, me, it took me so long to get the courage to say it. And the first thing he said to me was, life is short. Do what makes you happy. Like, we don't care if you're pumping gas. We don't care what you're doing, if you love it. And my mom's like, no education is wasted. I'm like, well, maybe. <laughs> but it was, it, after that, it was such a relief uh, to be able to come out to L.A. and start doing this. And I'm so lucky I found it because I love what I do. We get to do make-believe. We get to do these incredible things and, and have a blast doing it. Okay, you mentioned arthritis and you've been really open about your journey with rheumatoid arthritis. So can you tell me a little bit about where you're at with that? So I'm very fortunate. I was diagnosed in 2002, started on a treatment that gave me my life back. And in fact, uh, just yesterday, I got my infusion, which I get every 10 weeks. So I'm lucky I'm doing well, but I, I know how fortunate I am, which is why I do share my story um, to let people know there's hope. And also because we're not done. There are people who don't respond to the medication I'm on. So we're always trying to look for the next treatment and hopefully someday look for a cure. Yeah, I run a charity with my friend Meg, who's from Big Brother. She's the best. And it's crazy because I've learned a lot about arthritis. My mom has it as well. And it can be very debilitating. It's the number one cause of disability in America. 50 million Americans have it. A lot of people have osteoarthritis, the use-based arthritis, where you think of the football player with the bum knees. And then there are autoimmune ones like rheumatoid arthritis. So there are a lot of different causes of it, but the, it, the ultimate impact is it just, it steals your quality of life. Yeah, and you always stay so positive about everything. So I think it's really inspiring to people. I try, I try to, you know, and, and there, there, look, there are certainly times where you get down. There are certainly times when you throw pity parties, but I always know it could be worse. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative for what I do have. All right, should we tour the rest of the house? Yeah, let's do it. More of you? More me! <laughs> Matt is an inspiration to so many, using his background in medicine and celebrity platform to be a cause for good. Heading into the guest bedroom, there are even more surprises. I'm starting to wonder what I might learn next. So this is the guest bedroom. These are guitars I got at charity auctions. A Journey, Journey's my favorite band of all time. And then a slash guitar Can you play? as well. No. No, no, not, not a bit. I literally was just, it's a, this was at an Arthritis Foundation event and Jonathan Cain was there and they had this guitar and I thought, there's no way I'm getting outbid on a Journey guitar. Anytime I'm at a charity event, I love, I love helping people, but especially if I can get something ridiculously cool like a bronze shoe, Travis Pastrana's bronze shoe. I thought, who wouldn't want that? And then, um, yeah, that's a Joe Montana autograph ball. So I was on Hallmark's Home and Family a morning show, he was a guest, and I got to catch a pass from him, and I had him autograph the ball. And that was another thing where I'm like, Joe Montana throw me, threw me a football, and, it was, and I tripped and fell on the mud, but I held on to the ball. Uh, but it was such, it, again, it was one of those moments where I just, I never knew growing up that I would be out here doing this stuff. Yeah, okay, so you went from doctor to comedian. Yes. How do you go from comedian to host and then you're meeting all these people? So I have no idea. I have no idea how my career was planned out. I was doing stand-up. The thing that actually made the transition into hosting was the Groundlings. I was at the Groundlings uh, performing there in one of their training companies and someone saw me there and asked if they could submit me for a game show. And that was Screenplay, the first show I got at E. And so, the day the Groundlings called to tell me if I was in the performing company or not, they said, you're not in it. The very next call I got about 15 minutes later was that manager saying, you got the job, you're gonna be hosting a show at E. That's, that's it an was LA crazy. story. It was, it was highs hear, and lows. You hear about that happening, yeah. people getting scouted, you don't actually think it would happen. And It's so funny the places you get seen. When you're in LA, it's one of those reminders of you never know who's watching you, whether it's social media or anywhere. Um, you never know who's seeing you or, or where an opportunity can come from. And that's one of my one of my philosophies was always, I try to say yes to everything because you never know where an opportunity is gonna come from. Ninja Warrior was a show, it was a throwaway show where they thought, we're doing 10 episodes on G4. It, we'll, we'll see if it even lasts the full 10 episodes. Here it is, we're in season 13. We have a spin-off show, Ninja Junior, that's on Peacock. We, we, we get to travel all around the US with it. We've been nominated for four Emmys. It's like, you don't know where it's coming from. So 
I, I, I just kind of, with my career, I, I had plans. I thought it was gonna be a hilarious sitcom actor movie star, and instead I'm a TV host, and I love it. And yeah. it's just been, I've, I've been lucky to work and to keep working. Yeah. So say yes. To everything. Okay. To everything. All right, let's Which sounds like bad advice, yeah. but you say, that, say yes to most things. How about that? <laughs> One thing I know I am saying yes to while I'm in LA is a chance to check out the pool. This backyard is California goals to a T. And this is the oasis. This is so cool. Oh, I love this because Melrose Boulevard is right there, but when I'm back here, I might as well be in a tropical paradise. Yeah, you even have, okay, orange tree? Orange tree, I get my blood <laughs> oranges over there, which sometimes I'll throw in my Delicious smoothies. Yep. <laughs> she didn't like it. Uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. I, I just love being back here. You sit out here. Honestly, I love it in the winter. Get a little fire going. I love it in the summer. I love it anytime. How often do you use the pool? Every day. In fact, I, I start my mornings off jumping in the pool, no matter how cold it is. It's a great way. And what I love is at the end of the day, like when we were shooting overnights at Ninja, I would come back, just jump in the pool and just feel like it's a reset. It's, when I saw the pool, I was, I knew, I really, I really put it, I run so warm. So it's so nice having this. I have to do this with you. What? You said that you can do the splits. I said I, in the, okay. <laughs> because I love doing this. Well, I, okay, I used to be able to do them really well until something happened on RuPaul's Drag Race when I tore my hamstring. So this will be the first time back. I'm willing to give it a shot okay. with you. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're going much farther than I, okay. <laughs> That's All pretty right. good. This is without warming up. You're fully down. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 uh. Let's go, let's go get some coffee. Okay, great. Matt's backyard paradise is just a stone's throw from Hollywood's buzzing street corners. I asked him to show me his favorite local coffee spot, and I may have a few tricks up my sleeve once we're caffeinated. Are you ready for your close-up? <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I don't even, okay, I don't even know. I know. Uh, let, me, let me quote movies from the 40s. That's a little, what, that's what I wanted to do. What's the movie? Sunset Boulevard. Oh, I yeah. Who it was. Famous, God, this is so bad. It's Hollywood, I should know this stuff. Oh, well, speaking of trivia, I do have some trivia questions. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I... So this is, uh, you, you, did you just see how much it bothered me not knowing the answer here? Yeah. So this well, is gonna okay, be... Well, you host a trivia podcast. I do. Yeah, and so I was told that we should do some fun trivia. Ready? By the way, just for the record, let me point out, I host it, I don't compete, so <laughs> don't expect much. Let's go. Okay, so let's do a little LA trivia. Okay. All right. Matt, yes. how many Olympic games has Los Angeles held? Okay, so because I'm doing Tokyo Live, because I have been studying, so I know there have been two summer games, 1984, which I remember watching, and then I think it was 1928, maybe, when they had the, built the Coliseum? Wow, I, 1932. 32. Next question. What was the first major professional sports team in LA? Oh, boy. Okay, so I don't think it was baseball because the Dodgers came from Brooklyn. The Angels, I think we're in the 60s as well. Um, basketball, the Lakers came from Minneapolis. You're so knowledgeable. I mean, well, I should know this better. I know we did have the Clippers, which went to San Diego and then came back. I think I'm going to go with... So they went to St. Louis and came back. I'm gonna go with the Rams. The LA Rams. Yes, the Rams. Oh, thank God. Wow. Thank God. As I'm getting passed for driving slow, cursing LA. <laughs> we are pulling up on Sunset Boulevard. Okay. Where Bye. is the iconic Muscle Beach located? Ah, it's in Venice Beach. I looked out there. I bought it in Muscle, Muscle Beach. Okay. Hit me, hit me with some more. Okay. How many stars are on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Oh my God. Now, I mean, who would know this? Well, when we get there, I know there'll be two stars. Um, I'm gonna guess 1,507. 2,690. Oh, not bad. I was not in bad. like at least the right decimal place. I think that's it. Cool, you did great. I was so big into trivia <laughs> growing up. I used to be, I was so good at Trivial Pursuit, but then Google, Google the wonder killer took me away. Mm. Cause you used to be like, ask Matt. I, I used to know so much ridiculous trivia. Now I'm useless. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. 
All right. So I invited a friend over um, because I've been bragging about how funny I am. This is the guy I started comedy with, but I also thought we could play some golf together. So because I'm not that confident in my golf, I'm hoping we're gonna be funny to detract from how bad we are at golf. But I just, this is a guy who, as long as I've been in LA, he's been my buddy. I love it. What's his name? Michael Batts. Michael Batts. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm not so sure about my golf skills, but I'm always up for making new friends. Matt said comedy, so I'm holding out hope they'll do a stand-up set for me. Mr. Batts, you go. Oh. 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 Hey, welcome. <laughs> this is Michael Hi. Batts, my nice. dear friend, nice Andrea. You, Andrea. This guy was one of the first people I met when I came out here. We we moved out September 1st, 99. Yeah, that is correct. Unbeknownst, met each other a couple weeks in. <laughs> Just at the same separated. time, and uh, we've been together ever since. <laughs> You're a comedian as well. Yes, yes. We were finding each other at every comedy club together, writing jokes in the back. Mm -hmm. And we like, he's writing as much as I am. And then we started doing writing sessions together and performing together. We got booked together. Six, on seven week. nights a week we were going out. Oh, uh, yeah. Two shows a night. We were hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you also golf. I'm kind of bad we, at golf. Well, we're very competitive in everything, whether it's yeah. video games, anything. Yeah. I brought an Golf. extra thousand just to <laughs> just to go ahead and uh, get some betting going today. Well, putting you, you drive for show, you putt for dough, Anders. Mm. This is where golf is made. Okay. That's why I work on my putting. Out Should here. we do a putt off? Ooh. <laughs> is this even You're holding it like a polo mallet. Just go ahead and whack. Wait, I don't even know if I'm like, am I holding it right? Is that? This is, you know what, this is funny. This is, this, she's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. You, that, she's that definitely going to get it in. Oh. Okay. oh. Not bad. Okay. Almost. Now. What happens is that went in through the back. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's two thousand you owe me. Okay. <laughs> hey Matt, let me okay, see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and and see, I, I almost broke it um, because the more I work on golf, the worse I get. Okay, whoever makes it in first, uh, I don't know what the prize. How do we? I don't know how much sunlight we have left. <laughs> okay, ready. This one's going in. I feel good about this. Oh. You want drinks? Yeah. Drinks, drinks, drinks. Do it. drinks. All right. And we'll just hang. I'll fetch the drinks. You guys can tell bad stories about it. Okay, sweet. So before he comes, what's his, his biggest secret? Well, his Wait, biggest what, what is secret? going on right here? I'm not going to believe this. Oh, By the way, oh, okay. speaking of secrets, I feel like I've been deceiving you with green juices and oh. coffees. This is what I like to drink. <laughs> a beer. Well, cheers. 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 So nice everyone. to meet you. Nice to meet yes. you, too. What's cool is because we've spent so much time together, we find things that made us laugh in real life. And it was so much fun then when we would go on and take it on stage at night. But Matt was a doctor. <laughs> so I used to do a lot of doctor stories yeah. that everyone could relate to in a way that no other <laughs> comedian could do. Yeah. Uh, so I always found that interesting in his view of uh, laughter is the best medicine. Is, mm. I think you coined that phrase if you ask me. I was the first one who came up with it. Yeah. Really, it's kind of taken off since then. <laughs> the thing we learned was we could understand each other's voices and start yeah. to help each other develop jokes. And comedy, you see one person on stage, but you can't do it alone. You have to have people, because when you bomb, you need someone there going, it's okay, Jim, <laughs> it's okay, Jim. We're gonna get back up tomorrow night and you'll get him. The first time you bomb, you oh. you, you feel like you, you you wanna crawl into a hole and die. And then it gets to the part where you go, oh, that, that audience stunk, you're like, no, that was you. You were awful. And that's what you need friends for, it's just to remind yeah, you and, and Man, you stung tonight. <laughs> Matt is the best one to have off stage when it's been a rough one, when you got that sweat going down your back and uh, you got your- I'm like Mickey uh, in the uh, corner. You're bleeding, <laughs> champ, we're gonna stop the fight. <laughs> well, you know, you get to a point where it's going so bad that now your comedian friends are laughing at how bad it is. <laughs> and that, that's, you, you see that? Because the pain, the joy you get at watching your friend. You hear these sirens because it's like somebody is dead. It's like an ambulance is being sent to pick up the corpse off the stage. It's like they know what's going on <laughs> on stage right He's now. He's flatlining. <laughs> and, and, and they're laughing because you just gave your best joke. Yeah. Oh. And nobody laughed. <laughs> your next two jokes aren't even half as good as that. <laughs> So you know that makes... If you didn't like this one, you're gonna hate these. <laughs> yeah, that's... And what do you do when you pick, to pick yourself back up? You have to get on stage again. Yeah. yeah. It's literally yeah. where I, 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 we say you gotta get this taste out of your mouth. You gotta get back on stage. And if you bomb again, then you're like, oh, okay, I, I, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> you throw your whole set yeah. out. <laughs> Start looking at jobs. 
job posted. Yeah. You know, I feel great. Why don't we uh, end by jumping in the pool? Come on, man. Old time's sake, let's do it. Old time's sake? <laughs> we, we do everything. We would go jump in the ocean. You want to jump in? Let's just oh, I'll jump in the pool. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm, Are you you I'm don't have it. to. No, I'll do it. I mean, it is an LA <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what just we a, do. This is a pool. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, okay, are we ready? Ready. We're ready. Three, two, one, go. Or three, two, one. Three, two, one, three, two, one go. go. Okay, ready? Okay. Three, three, two, two one, go. go. <laughs> what? We got pumped. Are you LA, baby! Hey! <laughs> Who's probably smarter? Are you serious? I'm soaking wet, I'm full of greens, and that's a wrap on Hollywood. From being scouted on small stages to becoming one of America's most beloved hosts, Matt Eisman embodies what it means to truly make it in this iconic town. Now I'm inspired to get an Emmy of my own. Back to work.